Awesome. So I believe we are live. This is great. Cool. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. We are going live on both YouTube and LinkedIn. If you're live with us, please comment on the chat, introduce yourself with your name, where you're from, and what companies do you have interviewed with or what was your dream company you want to join? Either way, it's fine. Okay, so let me play uh, one minute countdown music for people to join us. We also have two uh, guests with us who's going to do free marketing to be with me. So let's get started in a minute. Let me also see who's live um, on both platforms. Say hi with us. Um, let me go down here. Awesome. So let me move my microphone here. Let me see the chat. Who who is joining us? Anybody on LinkedIn, comment on the chat so I know you guys are there. We have a few seconds to get started. Awesome, awesome. So, awesome. We'll come and see. Say hi on the chat. So, we see. Uh, Jiaxing is on LinkedIn saying hi to us. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. Hey, so let's do this. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. Welcome, welcome to our live um, training. Let me get on the right view right now. Awesome. Okay. So welcome guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I help hundreds of people to land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup. Um, so far in the past few months, 25% of our offers came from fan plus companies. I'm very excited to see this happening and also see lots of you guys actually actively going into the recruiting season. So that's why today's uh, our free training on YouTube and LinkedIn is more talk about what's your preparation strategy if you are going into Google uh, interview and what's the best strategy to prepare for those product design interview questions. Those are extremely difficult. Awesome. And then also a quick introduction about me. And I am Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. And lots of you guys know me through our free training on YouTube. Uh, we also have a coaching program for people who want to get exclusive access to me and my team to accelerate your progress, land your dream PM job offer, and also increase your success rate significantly. That's through our training program called PM Accelerator. You can go to this website darknessity.com um, to learn more and see if you qualify for our program. And today we also have two people join me live with um, um, Chancery, right? So it's Chancery and join us and Sunny join us. So both of them are receiving free coaching from me. Um, for anybody who is interested in receiving free coaching, you should see the description of this video and we are able to get uh, access. Okay, so anybody who have any questions, feel free to post your question in the chat. Okay, we're going to go through all your questions today because I believe this upcoming one month September is crazy important for all of you guys. Um, so let's make sure you are 100% ready with a high success rate to join your dream company. Um, Panavi, welcome, welcome. Also, people saying hi in the chat. Welcome. Awesome. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my slides right here. Full screen. Okay. All right. So today we will talk about how to prepare and ace your product design interview at Google or these type of fan company, Google, Meta, Amazon, all different big tech companies. And today we special focus on Google because Google is one of the hardest companies you're able to join. We Our methodology is that we train our students to be the top 1%. If you're able to nail Google interview, which means you're able to land any offers in any other company. So we hold the bar really high for all of the students. So they will focus on product design interview. Um, and also, 
if anybody goes through our uh, coaching program in the past, you know that we love to share with you the behind scenes stories and other inspiring stories because we believe that all of you guys can make it happen as well. If you see how other people have uh, used similar uh, methodologies, so you can follow the same success path. Okay. So for people inside the PM Accelerator, so you know who I'm talking about is our student Jill. And actually, Jill is one of my I think so far, she's my second highest paid student. I personally, to be frank, and I believe that the purpose of becoming a product manager is do the work you love. Byproduct is your pay, your salary. And Jill happened to have um, something she's very passionate about. Actually, I personally very passionate about the company called Falcon X. Going to introduce this Falcon X company more to you guys later on. Okay. So she was able to really find a position she truly deserve and truly love. And also by products being um, getting paid extremely high around half million dollars, which is second highest paid student was in my program. And so let me show you how exactly gel made it happen. Okay. And my point is that gel was like you, you guys, she clearly has no technical background. She was a trader. She also have no product management, like traditional product management experience. Okay. So her experience is more Trader on Wall Street, like all of you guys, right? Let's watch the movie Wolf of Wolf of Wall Street. So what's her life? Um, but she really developed a passion to become a PM and also join the tech industry because being a trader is only trading money, but being a product manager, you're able to create some kind of products able to impact millions of people's lives. That's why what drives her to completely change her industry from a trader like on Wall Street into this like like crypto company. So Falcon X is one of the most famous crypto company for big wells. If you if you guys um, uh, in the crypto space, all of you guys heard like Gemini, Coinbase, and, and Binance, right? So all those platforms are huge for retailers like us. Like we do not have millions of dollars, but we buy a few thousand Bitcoin or Ethereum and currency prices being going up and down. The question to you guys, did you cash at the bottom? Ethereum was half the price a month ago. Did you buy when it was low and now sell it high? Right now the price uh, doubled compared with months ago. So do you do that? So those kind of platform are designed for retailers like us, like buying few thousands of crypto or certain amount. Um, but Falcon S was designed for big well. So let me design this. Let me let me uh, define this for big well people who already make millions of billions dollars in crypto in the past, okay? And each transaction they, they trade is in millions, has to be in millions. Anything smaller than millions, they don't even talk to Falcon X. So Falcon X was the big, like a giant in the space. So Jill was able to become a senior product manager actually in Falcon X. I'm very proud of her. Um, actually, she's as I, as I mentioned, she's getting paid higher than fan companies. Um, so how she made it happen, which I really want you guys to understand this. So she then offered actually post post the crash we all all of us know that the stock market crash and recent crash again you if you pay close into the news and crypto market crashed significantly in may and june and now ethereum some of the price went back up a little bit because ethereum is about to like launch its like the next version um so things has been changed dramatically in the crypto space there's lots of people getting laid off in the crypto space as we all know do we have the uh the layoff things uh we didn't have it okay it's okay so if you have paid close attention to news and actually coinbase lay off 23 percent of the employees okay so lots of things a lot of people getting laid off in the crypto space but what joe the strategy you use is the cash cow business strategy which i emphasize many times i want all of you guys truly understand what do i mean by cash cow so falcon as a cash cow business they do not need investor money and actually they're making like millions of billions of money uh, dollars and whenever they trade like large amount of crypto so this company even if the entire crypto market is going through recession and also the entire like universe, actually the, our normal stock market and crypto market, both of them going through a huge like a downturn right now. Um, this company is still doing extremely well. And uh, they also recently raised Series E round and their valuation also higher than what other originally predicted. So that's when we define someone who's a cash cow business has found product market fit 
and their comp their customers paying them lots of money for them to build a product. Those kind of cash cow business not only they able to enable you to fulfill your dream of creating product with lots of resources by impacting the people like retailers or big wells on, on to getting access to crypto, but also being able to achieve your financial success as an individual as well. Okay, so what Jill did is she was able to number one she identified the cash cow business. Number two, she actually used a fan product management training methodology to prepare for the interview because the people currently working for Falcon X all come from Google, Meta, those kind of big tech companies because they, they are very rich like companies. They're able to pay people even higher than fan salaries to join the company. So therefore, when they recruit people, uh, their, her managers and other people, lots of people working for Falcon X come from Google. So when they interview her through the Google methodology, so therefore, we train our students, even if you do not interview for Google, we, we teach you with the best methodology to crack those big tech uh, companies um, so that you're ready to nail those interviews. And number three, she was also able to use her product portfolio. As a trader, she turned it into her past experience managing different kinds of trading product um, as a trader on Wall Street. How are those traditional uh, finance industries trading products relevant to the crypto company Falcon X? So using the three steps, she was able to do the work she really loved and also buy product being the, the second highest paid student in my program. Okay, I want all of you guys to use this as inspiration to think about what you can do uh, to identify the cash cow business, even if a recession is coming. And as well, I personally believe that, and actually even Warren Buffett said that the, the recession coming in three to 16 months uh, from today and also the... I believe that it's double recession because it's inflation plus the true uh, overdue recession is double recession. So I want you guys to really have all the skills ready and um, become a PM or land your dream PM job before actually you are getting thrown around, uh, thrown around by the economy, which is out of your control. Okay, so let's get started. So make sure to put all your... Um, questions in the chat. We're going to go through all the questions. Also do some mock interviews for people getting ready for their fan interviews. Um, now, also a quick reminder, everybody who is going through your interviews, as I said, regardless is fan or non-fan companies. So please make sure you go to this uh, website, documentacy.com slash 50 fan. Um, you are able to use the latest interview questions currently um, been asked at the fan companies. And as I said, those interview questions being also used in other companies as well. So go to this website, documentacy.com slash 50 fan to use the latest interview question for your upcoming interview. Okay. Now, how do our two guests, um, Chen Sri and, and Sunny join us for free to receive free coaching was because they go to this place and email my team, team at pmxerter.io. You can also email her right now, okay? Email my team, team pmxerter.io uh, to say, hey, title, YouTube Live, and you're able to get free coaching from me every Wednesday. And this also description of this video, uh, we're able to put your information in the form to submit your questions and my team will select the lucky candidate to join us for free coaching as well. So how to get selected? So I'm a big believer of giving back. So last year we did one-on-one -on -one donation matches up to $20,000. Uh, last year okay this year we want to increase our donation again so therefore anybody who are part of the nonprofit mission and um, i support you're able to get free coaching from me for sure and whoever has the most likes comment and shares you're able to have most uh free coaching from me as well you don't need to have money to get free coaching okay so you just need to take actions and helping others that's the true beliefs what i what i have that's the the mission behind pm etc as well okay so anybody who's interested in Join the PM Accelerator to increase your success rate, become a PM, and also increase your efficiency, make it faster. You should go to this website, documentacy.com slash masterclass, learn how to land and keep your dream product manager job during a hiring freeze, even if you don't have the confidence, the tech degree, or PM experience. Okay, so go to this website, documentacy.com slash masterclass, learn more, um, and also take a quick screenshot right now to go to the free groups. On those, I've been curating those groups for over two years. You can find thousands of product manager insights groups. You can find mock interview partners and sharing resources for free in those groups. Okay, take a picture right now, join the WeChat group and LinkedIn group to find your uh, mock interview partners. So let's do this. Take a screenshot right now. Now, uh, quick celebration. So we have a, uh, 
Have we talked about the celebrity? So here's the thing. It's very important for me to share with you the latest market update. Okay, lots of guys are totally free out regarding, okay, so what do I do? Um, and like there's no job of opening out there because companies are laying off people and Snapchat lay off 20%. Actually today, one of my friends joined Snapchat two years ago, called that she, he was laid off. Okay, seriously, this happened today. But what I wanna show you is that there are lots of opportunities and out there, you just need to focus on identifying the cash cow business and finding the right team to join. Okay, for example, like last week, and student of mine also joined Meta. So last, last month, so two students joined Meta. Very excited. Even the Meta announced layoff 10% of the employees. Okay, you, there's still opportunity out there. People also join Canva and someone else also land multiple offers from like uh, as a crypto companies. And so there are lots of opportunities out there. I want you to capture those opportunities. Okay, so once someone is able to offer you those amazing opportunities in front of you, are you able to land the offer? That's the key. Please do not waste those opportunities. The reason is, to be frank, like lots of opportunities are taken. Not that many out there. If there's one or two, maybe three, maybe five, hey, let's land all those five offers. That's why I'm giving you free trainings because I want to see you succeed as well. My only ask is please make sure to share our free training, any of my favorite YouTube videos with any aspiring product managers or existing product managers because I want to see all of you guys succeed, achieve your dream as well. and help others once you get there. It's critical, help others once you get there. If you only take, never give, you, you don't deserve free coaching from me, to be frank, because I believe people need to give more than what they take. Okay, so, oh, this is hiring, like the, the layoff news, we, we move it towards the end, but it's okay. That's what I mean earlier regarding people, layoff people like Meta cut off 10%. I think since they're getting really nuts right now. So, but opportunities out there. So let's, let's get ready for your upcoming uh, interview. So let's do this today. We talk about Google. So before we go through the pre-submit questions, let's talk about the Google interview. Okay. Um, the upcoming Google interview, round one. So let me unshare right now my screen. Okay. So let me give a quick overview regarding upcoming Google interview. What does it look like? In the first round interview, um, so besides the screening, round zero is screening round with the recruiter basically asks you about your background, yada, yada, and that's easy to pass. And then round one is someone was in the hiring team is going to ask you three type of questions, part of design questions, typical questions, okay? And then that person also asks you, tell me about yourself, those, those questions. And the person also asks you something regarding analytics or strategy type of questions, okay? So when you go into those Google interview, even for round one, you get ready for part of strategy, analytics, and also the, the uh, design questions. I personally believe that design questions are the hardest question to crack. The other two is really easier. I have training um, regarding product strategy, um, which we we taught live multiple times. You can you can watch my old training regarding product strategy. But today we laser focus on the product design interview questions in Google or big tech company, whoever tests you regarding the product design. Okay, now let's use live cases as example. Uh, let's do this. Um, Chancery, are you here? Do you want to do you want to do a mock interview or do you have specific questions regarding Google uh, interview or or design or like product design interview? Hey, Nancy, uh, 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 Chancey here. So mm -hmm. uh, basically, you know, I just joined the the, the program like a mm -hmm. couple of days ago. I'm still doing all the the learnings. I'm mm -hmm. just watching all the your video to try to understand the framework and all this things. I'm uh, looking for the, the PM positions, uh, you know, in that big tech company, but I'm not the technical background. I don't have like an IT background. I'm more on the clean energy, more on the hardware, clean energy, renewables, energy storage industry. Mm -hmm. uh, but I have the, the PM uh, experience for several years. Uh, Great. So now. what's your goal? Is it go to join what type of companies? Tell me. So my my preference, the first choice will be the Amazon because I know Amazon how that's a big vision for the clean energy future, so the right. carbon reduction. That's why I'm, I'm uh, the, that's my big uh, the the preference. But mm -hmm. all the other like big tech company also have the uh, the vision to uh, for the clean future. So like I uh, like uh, Microsoft, they have the, the clean build the clean energy uh, department also for the data center, Google as well, all this. 
yeah, that's my my goal. Okay. So, uh, what's your special questions for me? So, uh, you know, I. I saw this like free coaching and I just、mm. want to understand, try to understand what's the process. And also maybe we can do、uh, some like 30 seconds. Elevator pitch. Elevator pitch. Or some cut, mock interviews, other things to see、yeah. how, <laughs> how far I'm f- away from the, the offer. <laughs>、uh, I can do access with, uh, 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 do some quick. Assess of your、uh, of your skills within two minutes can tell you how far are you from the offer. Okay, but first of all, um, congratulations join PM Accelerator. We have lots of people already an offer from Amazon, Microsoft. We can give you referrals easy, no problem.、Sure. Now, um, what's really critical? I wanna set the right um, uh, strategy for you. Okay, given you already have experience, but you are more in the energy industry. I came from、yes. very traditional energy industry. I came from Shell Oil. <laughs> It's crazy,、yeah. uh, very different kind of energy. Um,、yeah. so for those big tech companies, for example, for Amazon, let me tell you, insider Amazon, Microsoft, each company the hiring strategy is different. Okay, um,、mm-hmm. for example, inside Amazon, let's say for Amazon clean energy department or that that kind of team. They have different requirement compared with, let's say, fintech. We have、uh, we have our student join、uh, Amazon fintech. So actually, one of our students in final round interview,、uh, because the alumni refer him into like basically helping each other out, right? So they both in the same department of fintech. So one of the questions they were asked in the fintech interview is, "What's account receivable?"、Mm. I was like. I don't even know what is account receivable, right? So for for fintech for Amazon, it's crazy. So what what I mean is that they will ask you the traditional questions, the fourteen principles, yada yada.、Um, they will also test your domain knowledge.、Mm. Okay, but I have confidence that you should be able to answer、yeah. those domain knowledge because you're already inside of the space、mm. for a very long time. So I believe the challenge you will be facing when you interview in Amazon is that. How are you able to really tell your stories to make it short、yeah. and concise, and being able to really nail an offer and also qualify you for at least L six, hopefully L seven offer in Amazon? We have another story. It's a crazy another student of mine. Actually, she、uh, she was downgraded by Amazon before she joined our program. So she was a product manager in、um, in Pinterest, one of those famous companies. Actually, two students before they joined the program. They were very. Some of them already joined Microsoft or like Pinterest or Amazon as a product manager for years.、Um, some of them had more than ten years experience, and that's before our program. So when they interview with Amazon, Amazon was like, "Oh, entry level PM, L five, ten years experience, L five in Amazon," and that's why they rejoin the program. Not rejoin, they they decide to join our program. Say, "What the heck? Something is wrong." They they said I'm entry level L five. So therefore. When you go interview anybody, anybody receive free coaching today. When you go out to interview for Amazon or any tech big tech companies, if you have let's say you have five years experience, you need to sell yourself to have at least five years. Now we teach people sell yourself with ten years experience. Like if you have zero years experience, we sell yourself at least have like two or three years related experience. So do not they will downgrade you for sure. This happened twice. For other people who wasn't in a program now rejoin the program, really like learn what what the heck? Why downgrade me? Okay, so get ready. And so therefore, let's let's test your capabilities in terms of how you tell yourself. Okay, so um, Chancery, so tell me about yourself. This is a really good、uh, question to ask you for sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, my name is Shang Xisan. Uh, I have six years product management、uh, experience. Um, developing and launching the technology products. I have a chemical engineering、uh, PhD from the Chinese Academy of Science, and also the PhD uh no uh postdoc of material science from、uh, University of Washington.、Uh, I started my professional career at Uni Energy Technologies as a senior research engineer to develop the advanced flow battery, which is part of energy storage, with the lessons from the Department of Energy National Labs. I was responsible for the web dating,、uh, the first generation of product, and conducted onsite commissioning to manage the customer expectations. That was where I started my communication directly with the customer and understand,、uh, start to understand their、uh, pain points. So later, I was promoted、uh, to the product manager. I proposed an innovative modular modularized flow battery to solve the customer's pain point and opened the residential market for the flow battery. 
I was promoted again to the VP of products to lead the cross-functional teams to develop and launch this, or launch this product from a concept, a concept to the production. This ends up the uh, only and uh, first and only ULC certified flow battery in the world and drove over 20 million revenues. So uh, I would have deep understanding of clean energy technologies and uh, its in, uh, implications, uh, combination of technical and business understanding and forward thinking, uh, as, well as, as well as some strong communication uh, skills to align cross-functional teams to, um, you know, on the shared goals to, uh, to ensure a smooth execution. I'm looking for a senior product management role, uh, preferably in Amazon. I believe I can build uh, the products that the customer love and uh, drive successful business for the company as well. My passion is always to make big impact to the world with cutting edge technologies through my innovation and execution. Okay, um, Chancery is very impressive because of the impact you had. Mm -hmm. However, you just you again, as I said, everyone has experience. It's about sell bigger. Yep. Because if you don't sell bigger, they downgrade you. Yeah. Okay, so right now it sounds like you already have many years experience, but the challenge, what we heard was based on your 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 description, um, it it you are not putting the best of yourself early enough, and mm -hmm. it was too long. So let me let me change it for you so for sure. your entire uh, pitch. Right, for, tell me how many years experience you have in total. Uh, ten years. Ten years, right? So put it up front. Um. And you also have a director title, right? Uh, later at the highest title at VP level, yeah, VP of products. Okay, VP of products, fantastic. You, you say this. Mm -hmm. My uh, Hi, my name is Chantry Chan. Um, son, Chantry Sun. Yes. I have 10 years uh, experience leading a um, product management team as, uh, uh, as a VP of product. Yeah. As currently a VP of product. They know 10 years starting from entry level all the way right now, you rise up to VP of product. You need to tell them in summary within one sentence, 10 years experience, okay. not just developing product, 10 years experience leading a team because as VP, right. they're leading a team, right? right. I have 10 years, uh, how big is the team? Larger size uh, so far. 25 plus engineers and with uh, some uh, cross-functional communication with the, engineer, uh, the, the manufacturing team. Fantastic. Several hundred people. So. Great, cool. All right. Based on the size, you would definitely be L6. We might be able to push you to L7 in Amazon. Okay. Um, so here's what you need to do. You say, uh, mm -hmm. my name is uh, Chen Sui Sun, and I have 10, uh, over 10 years experience leading a team of product managers and engineers, uh, leading a team of 25, uh, 25 product managers and engineers um, as a VP of product in the energy product space. Give an overview. And I'm glad that you have the, your PhD. I also got a PhD in material science. I know exactly what you do. Yeah. You storage and battery, everything I know. Okay, so now in that case, but only me, people in energy space, I understand what you did, right? So you give an overview summary. So the one sentence, the second sentence, what you should have said is the very, uh, the, 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 the product I launched lately is whatever the storage product for how many million dollars also okay. recognized by the US government that that thing, the, the storage was a thing. I, I don't, I cannot repeat exactly what product is, right? Did you, you said later on in your pitch, you say launch oh, something yeah, that has it, so many millions of dollars. Uh, Right, the, the revenue is about 20 million and also that's a uh, UL certified. It's uh, UL is a kind of uh, high standards, uh, safety standards for uh, United States and North America. Uh, okay. That's the only flow battery was get certified. Okay, so is that like best product can get certified? It's very hard to get certified, sounds like. There's several different kind of uh, batteries, leasing, Get leading batteries, that's the one we use, get certified. But the, the battery we develop is different uh, technology. That's the only one got certified in that technology. Okay, so you can say, um, I um our I led a team to launch and to to launch and develop a U uh, UL certified uh like a battery the 
L thirty five newly invented battery uh, mm -hmm. storage that's right. leading to twenty million dollars in revenue. Mm -hmm. And you also said you launched something which is used by the government, right? What, what is that? Oh, that's the 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 company. The company licensed the technology from the department Department of Energy. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Is this being used by them, or just you license from them? A license from them. Um, and now let's say this. You can also say the the technology has also been used by the Department of Energy in the U.S. Okay. You license from them because it's been used by them, right? So it sounds like they you, it's theirs. You license and turn into product. Yeah, they uh the Department of Energy, there's National Labs, they develop the, the core uh technology. And the, the company I work with is the one to further develop on top of that technology oh. and the, uh, wrap up with uh, uh to develop the product. I see, I see. Okay. Um then you say um this tech so this technology so i and i let him develop this technology to to launch this product not just technology to launch the product mm -hmm. from concept to execution yeah. um that was originally being used by the department of energy right. then talk and then you can also talk about the next part did you talk about two products in your pitch there's multiple different things uh, i just talked about one because you know uh oh this is a product the whole yeah. thing is that product. Yeah. Uh, I see. But you have 10 years experience. Is it another product you want to talk about? Uh, it's all related to this battery. It's a several generations. Some of the big con uh, containerized product and also some uh, modularized product. But it's all about this energy storage device. Okay. Okay. So... Can you tell me, for example, the market share of the energy device? Basically, how how important this energy device is? So uh, this energy device is uh, targeting, originally targeting the stationary energy, uh, the market, because it's the battery is not used in the car, because this battery used in the car. The, the, the battery we develop is more focused on the stationary. It starts to its, um, you know, utility grade and also to the uh, CNI, commercial and the industrial. And this modular batteries also can get into the residential market. So okay. for the home, you know, you have the solar panel on your roof, you have this battery to store that one, and mm -hmm. then you can use energy to charge your cars, right? This Fantastic. Is... Fantastic. And then you say, I was able to lead my team mm -hmm. to grow the market from one vertical, which is, let's say, whatever car or residential, mm -hmm. the first one, whatever that is, mm -hmm. to five different verticals in five years or in two years, in how many years? Basically, you're, you're telling them from one vertical market to five different market oh, I see. within or six, whatever you plug in the real, you, you count how many market you have in short amount of time, in how many years? You tell them the years. Okay. Which led to the growth of two thousand percent, whatever. Blah, 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 sounds like it's a lot, right? So originally, you think about this. Originally, I think it's only like car, and now you can do the solar panel roof. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. yeah. So the size of your market grew from only this much into five times more, or whatever times more. You you figure out yourself, okay? You mm -hmm. look at some numbers, and then then you can say this is like whatever like grew from one market to five vertical four, to one one, mark, one vertical market to five vertical market within let's say three years that's like whatever 500 percent growth in terms of uh the the market size okay i see makes sense you say it that way and, and then the impact okay yes and then you say i am looking for um product leadership position or senior PM position. So look up the, the rank first, whatever they have. You can, for Amazon, you can say, I'm looking for senior a CM, a senior PM position in Amazon on trying to continue a passion to create like clean energy for the world, blah, 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 whatever okay. you have. I see. Okay, so okay. here's the thing, tips for you. Number one, for anybody who already have many years experience, it's more important to tell you the latest impact you have, how many people you manage, 
and the bigger thing you have. No need to start from scratch saying, that, hey, I when I was an individual contributor, I did this. And then okay. I was promoted, I did this. And then I'm promoted, I did this. Uh, you don't need to go through the whole process, especially you only have one product. For me, mm-hmm. um, inside PM Accelerator, I gave you my, like the, the, my 30 seconds elevator pitch, right? So I work on like three different products. That's why in my 30, second, 30 seconds elevator pitch, I have three different products to talk about because you only have one, but it, but it's one product but grow in market, multiple market. So you don't need to tell them, oh, I did this, this is because the same product. Well, you don't need to say it three times. You say it one time up front and then you tell them the impact, the growth, growth of revenue, yeah. growth of market penetration and growth of how many, what 5,000% that like growth blah, 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 you have. That's very impressive. And then you, you and, and then if you want to say you have a PhD, no need to say a PhD in material science from here, another thing from here, and like a postdoc in this. No need to say that because in the tech industry, they don't really uh, care too much <laughs> about having a PhD. Uh, uh, well, but, but we both have a PhD, but the better way to sell your PhD, to gain the value of your PhD, you can say this. Besides my business acumen and product man- and extensive product management experience, I also have very solid engineering background. Mm. I got a PhD in da 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 da. That's it. No need to say the school because it's school from China, okay. so they don't even know the school in China. You say I got a PhD in uh, uh, in chemical engineering or material science. No need to say postdoc. Too, too much. Too much okay. going on. I, I I also have very. The key is showing that I have very solid technical background. Okay. It is, it's not, my PhD is this, I've published so much people, okay. no, no, it doesn't matter to Amazon, seriously, for, for Microsoft, it went through the same process. The more I talk about PhD, the less people that, oh, you want to be a PM. No, don't talk about that. Talk less, you just say, a very, a very besides I also have very solid technical background. Uh, I received a PhD in I, my chemical engineering. So yeah, so I believe I'm a top 1% candidate for ABC job in Amazon, that's it. Is that Which to is be true. Late, later section or the, the first later section? Later very section. late. Okay. So I already I would lay out the sequence where you follow the sequence. Put your degree towards uh very end. Okay. So for my pitch, I only I only talk about I have a director product. Yeah, yeah. I don't even tell them I have a PhD. I might mention towards the end saying that I also have very besides my business acumen, I also have very solid engineering background. I was one of the youngest engineering PhD from Boston University. Mm. That's a period. I don't okay. even tell them a PhD in what. I just want to tell them that I'm very smart with a PhD and very technical, also a very strong business acumen. You got to hire me. Oh, I see. They really don't care what your degree in. You just need to, I got PhD. I got, or you can tell them I got, I also got like engineering PhD. I'm very technical. I also got engineering PhD. I have both. I both business because we talk about market growth, business, new market verticals, right? So that's all business. And then just mention also a very strong technical background with a with a PhD in chemical engineering. I believe in the top one percent candidate for ABCD job in Amazon. That's it. Awesome, thank you. Ah, uh, you are well, you're getting L six for sure. Let's push if you can go for L seven. Okay, that depends on interview um, skills when you go for yeah. Amazon. That's what uh, that's what I hope to get off this uh this uh program. <laughs> for sure, you are yeah. L six for sure. Let's push you for L seven. Awesome. awesome. Okay. okay. Welcome. Welcome to the program. And uh, so let's see. Um, Sunny, do you have a question? So let's do yours and let's take turns. Sensory, if we have more time, we do mock into with you. Okay. So Sunny, you're not inside a PM accelerator, but we're happy to offer free coaching for anybody who want to aspire to grow their career as well. Okay. So tell me your question. Are you interviewing with Google right now or have any question regarding ProSense interview? Yeah, uh, so I have no product management experience and mm-hmm. I have some experience in doing the business or in the marketing, for example, like a sales being account manager. And I have helped those sellers or um, my clients to launch the right type of products to meet the client's satisfaction. But um, I haven't had any experience in doing the product, product management directly. So how can I show that my experience that it's relevant to an entry-level job or at, at this time? Okay, very good. So you say you have helped customers to achieve their satisfaction. Tell me more what exactly you did. So uh, I was a new account manager at Amazon and 
Uh, I have helped more than about 200 sellers to launch uh, on average, which is a, about 90 products on Amazon Marketplace. And I have helped them to do the account management part and to increase the sales revenue. And for example, like edit the uh, product detail page, do the advertising campaigns so that they can know that which, what type of products that is welcomed by the customers and they will push this product and then increase the revenues in this way. Okay, so so you're talking about account managers. So it's more the Amazon.com people selling shoes, microphone, yeah, exactly. like, like something like that. Okay, so you help them to grow. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so here's way. How many years have you been doing your job? The, the Less one than one year because I'm a recent graduate. Oh, you're a recent grad. So you just want to yeah. transition into PM. And yeah. now I wish is, wish is, we have very, very good contrast today. When some, someone with 10 years experience <laughs> with VP, the other one has no experience. Uh, recent grad. Okay, so now as a recent grad, and then also someone who just worked for less than a year, all right, with people experiencing Amazon. And here is what you need to do. Number one, you really need to think about exactly what is product management. For example, how to write requirements, how to do customer interview. You really need to learn it now and mm -hmm. how to develop customer persona. Okay. And then you go back to your existing like sellers on Amazon.com. You create mm -hmm. customer persona for them. You help them to grow the business. You actually have done, for example, like thinking about the GTM growing and figure out what's the best way for different sellers to grow the business. I believe people selling microphone is different from people selling at clothes on Amazon. I know Amazon yeah. has clothes as well, right? So they have different customer persona. Mm -hmm. Then you need to create different kind of customer persona for them. And, and then think about from product management angle, what's the best way for you to help them to grow? For example, based on their persona, you can create different kind of GTM strategy for them. Mm -hmm. And you can also improve Amazon.com by like suggesting some kind of like a feature on Amazon.com. And you can also conduct many different customer interviews, customer service to, to understand what their pain points so they can help your engineering team to prioritize how to improve Amazon.com. So all of those depends on if you know how exactly product management work, because it's easy, easy to say, okay, so I do customer interview, you don't ask the right questions. And then during the interview, they ask you, how do you do customer interview? What's the number one thing you need to ask? What's a, what's a deep insight? How many people you, you interview? Why do you do 30, not 100? Why do 100, not 300? Do you think the one between 100 and 500 that's good enough? Right? People ask you very detailed questions. You need to learn it ahead of time. Never fake it because it's very easy to be frank. And also like <laughs> right now, as we said, like um, Meta, Meta is about to lay off 10% of the employees. And today people in Snapchat reach out to me, he got fired, like not lay off, like lay off 20% lay off, right? Which means the bottom 10% or 20% getting lay off. If you don't know what you're talking about, even if you you just somehow get in, people get in through many different ways. Like maybe you somehow get in, but you get laid off. That's really bad during a like potential upcoming recession. Okay, so key for you is that you gotta learn it first. You seriously learn it first, and then it's like, oh, that's how to do different persona. Okay, so let me put different people selling clothes, people selling ABCD different things, selling microphone, um, two different persona, and then you have the specific strategies and vision in terms of how you help them to grow and then the entire experience qualify you to become a pm not only just an entry-level pm the property can qualify your current one-year experience to become a one-year pm experience and then when you go out for for jobs out there you're not going to for apm lots of people are like fresh graduate going for apm you're not going for apm just directly for apm you already upgrade yourself okay okay Awesome. Okay, so best of luck. And actually, we have a free masterclass coming up next week, actually. So go to this website, darknancy.com slash masterclass to learn more about our like uh, coaching program inside of PM Accelerator. Um, the key is you, you got to start learning right now. Okay, so I really want to sincerely tell everybody, uh, whoever is getting this free training right now on YouTube. Um, <sighs> it's so scary that every single week I have people reach out to me saying that they were laid off. I'm serious. It's like so scary. So I really want you guys really do your job very well. I don't care you guys look for a job right now or you stay and wait until the recession is over. You got to do your job very, very well and very, very serious. It's like going nuts right now. Okay, so learn it. Do how to be a better PM before you even really like, let me just do this. Um, it is, no, you, you can't really like, 
F around nowadays. It's getting very, very challenging. Okay, so hey guys, it's more important you learn it before you make it um, than just like, let me just go out, be a PM, learn on the job. It's like the bottom 10% getting cut nowadays. It's very crazy. Okay, so um, yeah, thank you for joining us. Now, let me see any, any questions we have on... Uh, uh, dun 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 dun. And uh, on the chat, let me go through the chat. So anybody who is live with us, please put your question um, on the chat. So we'll go through the product design related questions. Um, so let me answer some questions here. Um, Prinapra said, hey Nancy, before I start, I have four years experience as a web developer. Can I get a chance at Google as a company to become a PM? Yes. If you are a web developer, to be frank, you got lucky. Huh. So I'm just being very transparent with you guys and know so much insider information. If you are currently um, a, a web developer and Google likes you better because Google will have software engineers to interview you. Even if recently they announced they're not, they're going to remove the software engineer, but majority of teams still have software engineer to interview you. So it's extremely challenging. But if you're a software engineer, software engineer interview you, that will be very easy. Um, so they're also going to do some like crazy, like uh, technical questions you know, during a Google interview. So it's very possible. Okay. Um, they like you. Now, if you have software engineer, here's thing. We have students who have software engineering uh, a job, a role before, they were invited to interview with like Google and Meta. Okay, you should be able to land interview opportunities in those companies if you know how to repackage your prior experience by creating like your personal brand on LinkedIn and repack your resume, so it's very possible. But to be frank, um, Without the right training, I literally don't know how exactly you're able to really repackage your experience because you have four years software engineering experience. Um, if you're not able to repackage your experience into something related to PM, uh, the problem is, oh, software engineer, uh, you are going to fail PM uh, interview. So um, it's possible we have students with like software engineering background and another student, he's a uh, what is the background? Electrical engineering, electrical engineering background, three years electrical engineering background, also with a PhD in electrical engineering, uh, then a PM job in uh, in Google right now. Okay, so he even have less years of experience. He doesn't have software engineer uh, as a whatever engineering background as a title either. Okay, but he can make it happen. I believe you can make it happen as well. It's more about what your four years experience as really something can be quantified, um, how would you repack your experience as your experience being recognizable? If people are, oh, four year experience equals nothing, as equals zero. If zero, not only you're not able to get in any company, not Google, then any company would be, oh, zero experience. No, you cannot become a PM in any company. So not mention Google, okay? So uh, really think about what's the best strategies um, for you to repackage your story. So we recommend people to use a part of portfolio strategy. Um, so feel free to go to my uh, website to learn more and actually I have free training regarding product, product portfolio. So let me go here. Where is my uh, deck? Let me share my... Uh, let me hold on, hold on. Let me show you the free training regarding portfolio. Okay, you go to YouTube channel. Oh, uh, being live right now. So go to this. Interesting. Go to my channel. You can see myself right now. So go to my channel, product portfolio. So you can go here. You can search portfolio. See the search button on my channel, how to build a product portfolio, must watch uh, training for all of you guys right here. Um, so that's how you turn your past experience uh, into something relevant. Okay, so go to here, how to build a product portfolio. Make sure to give a thumb up. I already have 500 people liked it. So make sure you like it as well and share it. And share it with um, aspiring product managers, especially for people like you have no PM experiences, everybody needs a product portfolio. And even for uh, our experienced um, students and like uh, Chancery, you need you need a product portfolio as well. So because Chancery, right now we have a student and Andrado, he is interviewing for director position in Google. 
um, we need to repackage his experience to make him qualify for director position in Google as well. So for your level, you need a product portfolio. We'll show you examples inside of PM Accelerator for experienced people, what kind of portfolio um, we um, and you need to build and you can send him for review as well. Okay, so we, awesome. we need to push you to the next level. Um, yeah. I hope, I hope, I actually hope, uh, yeah, uh, many of you guys land a director position in fan companies even better. Higher than mine. This is great. That's the best satisfaction when you see a student doing better than a teacher. Okay, so do this. Make sure you study this. Uh, let me see the next question we have. Uh, feel free to put your questions here. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I see my team uh, already putting the questions uh, in my deck. Oh, no, sorry. It's in my deck. Let me go through the questions quickly, and then we'll go through mock interviews. Where's my Right here. Um, it's a deck. It's a deck. Oh yeah, Coinbase, crazy. This is getting very crazy, Coinbase. Uh, Snapchat. Okay, so. Okay, so that's Sabrina's question. We answered this one already. Han said, as a PM of growth, focusing on business acquisition, what abilities uh, need to be highlighted during the interview? Business acquisition. What is business acquisition? You buy businesses? Uh, hand, feel free to put your comment on the chat, okay? And now let me make some assumption. What is business acquisition? And what ability to be highlighted during the interview? Okay, let me, let me assume before you... Uh, let me see. Please push your explanation here, Han. Uh, if I do not get your explanation, I'm going to make some random assumptions. Okay, put it in the chat right now. Um, now, let me make assumption. Business acquisition, I assume you buy businesses. So what ability need to be highlighted during the interview? Okay, so if you buy businesses, to be frank with you, the number one thing is that you need to think about in your purchasing experience did you hire did you help company to do gtm did you help them like gtm means a go-to-market strategy when you purchase businesses do you do some transformation of what's uh, of the business or do you introduce new like uh, digital experience for the business or new strategies for example the existing business they are in i don't know i literally don't know what do you buy for businesses or let's say you buy a gym Okay, so you help company A to buy company B. Company B is gym. Um, so did you help the gym uh, to introduce uh, like a digital solutions to increase the efficiency, efficiency of gym or like uh, serve the gym membership better so that you are able to sell the, the gym for higher value, right? So if part of the process, you have done something like that, you should highlight regarding like, Per, uh, like introduce new features and design and GTM strategies and the growth, growth strategy you might be able to qualify for growth PM as well. So all of those are very relevant to what you actually um, did in the past. Okay, but without further understanding what's business acquisition, I just make make some assumptions. Um, so inside of PM Accelerator, we give people very deep dive um, analysis based on the background and what you need to do. And the key is that to be frank with you guys, you need to study what the product manager do, what exactly, how they write requirements and what exactly like, what, how to write better requirements. When I was a PM, my requirement was this, this big, okay, this thick, okay, it's a book. And I wrote over like 700 different kinds of user stories requirement for one product. It's like this thick. This has like 70 different pages. Each page has at least 10 user stories and requirements. That's like easily 700 up to 1,000 different kind of requirements written in the past, okay? So that difference is between a good PM, a bad PM. Bad PM is right, so maybe 10, have your engineers work on it. And then during an the interview or people just ask you detailed questions, how exactly you did it? You say, oh, I wrote 10. No, that's not real PM is doing. Okay, so important you study it ahead of time and then say, oh that's how the requirement that's how they Nancy write like 700 requirement using this methodology and then during the interview to ask you those questions and then in your real work maybe you talk to customers but you didn't write requirement correctly and then you redo it 
So, oh, that's that's how exactly we can we can turn one product into seven hundred requirement. Let me let me just do the right way, and then that will qualify you for PM position sig significantly, and also have much higher success rate for you to land your dream job offer in your dream company. Okay, so that's what's going on. Um, um cool. Let me go back to. Next question. Justin, I'm currently freshman, but I have some startup PM experience. Are there any possibility I could apply for a giant uh, tech PM intern this year or next summer? Yes. The answer is 200% yes. If you are a freshman and with some startup experience, you I guarantee you, you should qualify for fan company internship because we have makes this happen to our students as a freshman, especially the earlier you get started, the better. Okay, so we have a student, Bastaya, so he was in our program last year, um, he was a freshman. So this summer, this past summer, this freshman summer, he already did his internship in Amazon. Now we are preparing his internship in Google for his like sophomore year summer. Okay, so especially if you already have startup experience, our student Bastaya also have startup experience, Yes, your path is very similar. Um, it's more about are you using the right strategy? Do you know how to use a networking strategy uh, to land those interviews? And do you also know exactly how to talk about your past startup experience? And that is able to qualify you for fan level uh, internship. Okay, but this, this based on the past success uh, track we had and it's very similar background, I think you can. Um, okay. Unless you suck in your startup PM experience, that's a different story, okay? If you do well, we repackage it. Yes, fan PM, no problem. Uh, internship, so let me do this. Let me answer the next question. Oops. This question, how to start a preparation as I don't have any background in management? Uh, in product management, okay, so Grish, Grishanka said, so here's three steps you need to do, okay? Start, if you have no PM experience, number one, you need to learn how product management work. As I said, examples, how, how do I write 700 requirements? Okay, you gotta learn it. How to do custom interview was the most important question. Interview questions to ask, how to ask correctly. Lots of people ask the wrong questions, like people don't know how to do it, seriously. And then, step number two, you need to create a product portfolio. If you have no PM experience, you need to create experience for yourself by creating a product portfolio. Okay, so number three, you should be able to confidently present yourself in the interview by leveraging your past experience. Okay, let's say you say you have no experience, you mean no work experience or no PM experience. Um, let me read this. So, so sounds like you said you do not have PM experience, but you are a software engineer. I, I myself was a systems engineer. We have students who are like, uh, as I said, he's an electrical engineering background, and join Google. We have students who are like a fintech background. He's uh, like, like finance, whatever. Join Amazon. Many, many different experience. We have students like running restaurants. One well, student is crazy. He's running restaurants. He was like, literally his restaurant owner. He he has six years experience. Uh, one like two or three years. He was like restaurant owner. Okay, so but he he's joined a big tech company as a PM as well. It's more about in your past experience. How much would you be able to? repackage that's relevant to PM. How much you did something similar that's uh, relevant that uh, interviewer is going to appreciate. Okay, so we also have people who is a car salesman, he has a car dealership, he become a PM as well. Okay, it's like many, many different backgrounds. You gotta really, really learn how to repackage your experience. Okay, follow the three steps. I believe you can make it happen as well. Uh, next question, how to show, uh, Virginia said, uh, how to show my seniors the level of ownership during the interview? Very good question. Okay, let me show this, this question. You guys can see this question. Um, how, to, how to show my seniority and level of ownership during the interview? Very good question. Okay, so how you show those are, number one, when you talk about your, your experience, you, sh you should talk about the scope, means the business impact, number of people you manage, um, anything regarding bigger scope, make you more senior, just like how we did it for Chancery, right? He, he already managed like 10, 25 people, cross-functionally over 100 people, that's very senior people, or you're not able to like getting 
the authorities uh, to do all of these. So it's critical for all of you guys. Number one, okay, increase your scope or talk about your scope. Okay, so number two, um, when you show you're very senior, you can also talk about how you, let's say you help others to grow because as a manager, you need to talk about how you like really grow other people as a mentorship is, is a sign of you are very senior as well. Okay, so now number three regarding this, um, the ownership. Ownership means that you do more things end to end. Not just, oh, I work with engineers. No, you do everything end to end from concept to execution. Do you do GTM? Do you work with marketing, engineering team? And do you also do legal? I also designed sales compensation for my team when I was a product manager. So my scope was huge. I, and I also work with engineer to, to build the product. So everything end to end that's going to show that you are very senior, you have ownership of your entire product. And actually that qualify me to become a director was in four years. I only was able to manage people for a year and a half. My total management experience, only one, one and a half years managing people. But because my scope was very big, I was able to quantify how senior I was that qualified me to become a director product was in four years. I actually have a new training for all of you guys. Um, go here. Um, I have a new video I just filmed yesterday for all of you guys. Um, come here and go to my channel right here. Uh, watch this video. Oh God, within a day I have 588 views. Hey guys, give more sum up, okay? Watch and sum up and more comment. Watch, sum up and more comment. Okay, so here, uh, watch this video. This is the latest video I have, or you can search director. If you put in director, it will come up with this. Hey, since I did become a direct product within four years, why well, you can make it happen as well. Okay, so watch this and study this, which shows more regarding seniorities, how I did it. I believe you can advance to leadership position much faster using the same strategy as well. So follow all eight steps. Make sure you comment uh, on the video and give a thumb up and also share this video with others who are very ambitious, who want to promote faster in the organization. Okay, uh, let, me, let me go through this very quickly. We, I think we're, we're almost... Uh, Okay, we're very fast with all the questions and then we'll go mock interview. Uh, Vijaya said, my background in software engineering, how do I position my answer to show PM experience, how to nail the interview? Uh, doesn't have to be a fan. I answered this question already. I believe somebody asked the same question regarding software engineering background, um, how do I position my answers? And I answered this already, so study my answer up front. Okay, so Jani said, how to enroll your PMA program. So go to this website, darknessleet.com uh, slash masterclass, um, where I teach you your, how would you be able to land your dream permanent job offer within 60 days and especially how to land and keep your dream job offer during hiring freeze. It's very scary. Now I should change the title to during layoffs now. Seriously, Snapchat is doing some damages nowadays. <laughs> Okay, yeah, go to this website. We have everything you need, darknessy.com slash masterclass um, to see if you qualify for the program. Okay, so and next question. How do I know if PM is good fit for me? Ah, very good question. Um, uh, Abhishek, how do I know if PM is good fit for me? Right here. I have a training for all of you guys. A things you can help you to decide if PM career is good fit for you. Um, Free training, free training. Um, right here, the brutal truth of PN. A steps to decide. So A step to decide, should I become a product manager with no prior experience? Okay, so. Study this, um, which have all the eight steps you need. And basically in the description, you love to become leader, customer facing role, work-life balance. The become a decision maker is very critical. Okay, do see product end-to-end, -end, make an impact uh, and like uh, have passion in tech. Okay, so study these and watch this video in depth. We have more uh, descriptions and help you decide. So after this eight minutes video, you should you should have a yes or no answer. Okay, so go here. 
ASAP to decide, should I become product manager with no experience, go to my YouTube channel and study. Okay. Boom. Uh, hi, Nancy, before you start, I have seven years. Mo Sherry said, have seven years experience as electrical project manager. Can get a chance at Google as a company to become a PM. Um, you can, I sounds like you have seven years experience, you actual project manager. I think definitely you can become a PM. Now, whether you qualify for Google or not, that depends on if you can pass a product sense interview, product design interview at Google or not. Okay, so check out our PM Accelerator where we teach you how you pass uh, those interviews and also especially how to repackage your past experience. And I believe that even if you pass the interview, you don't know how to repackage your experience. Uh, you just cannot get into like, oh, someone else, electrical engineer want to become part like, uh, like product manager, you cannot get in. Okay, step number one is repackage using product portfolio strategy will teach you. Step number two is actually learn how to pass those interviews. But I felt like if you already seven years experience as project manager, um, I think it's very possible you can become PM, no problem. That's 100% become PM. Now, Google or not, we're we'll, we'll going to do further evaluation. Okay, now, uh, let's put it no, 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 no. How to efficiently get customer to interview with you? I find it really hard to get uh, this process. Very good question. So inside of PM Accelerator, we teach people different strategies to land uh, uh, people to do interview with you. And one of the strategies we teach them is to find different groups. For example, you want to teach in, in like interview restaurant owners, probably there's like restaurant owner group for them to share. Uh, like resources and experiences, find out different groups and maybe some podcasts that's about restaurant owner podcasts, right? So you need to identify your customers first, think of how weird to hand out. And there are many like eight different strategies, find them, but the groups are the number one strategies we recommend our students to do. I want you to, uh, to take a massive actions, okay? So whoever asks like a free coaching from me, for example, hand, whoever asks questions here, please make sure you share any of my favorite videos and tag me because we want more people to receive free coaching as well. Okay, so make sure to do that and comment on the chat, say yes, and um, promise you're gonna do it. Okay, so, oh, okay, quick reminder. Um, Actually, we have, um, speaking of product portfolio, we have an alumni panel inside a PM accelerator. So put it on your calendar. We know some students also watching this free training as well. So which is about how to create a, a stellar product portfolio with the right tools and right resources. And it will be 9 p.m. EST on Thursday, September 22nd. So make sure you do that as part of your um, upcoming alumni panel, we have uh, one of our mentor, she already landed a PM job offer, now she's getting promoted to um, to the next level in her company, she's only three months into a new job, um, so now she, she also have one of the best product portfolio ever, ever, ever seen actually, and she, she's teaching people how to, uh, how she did it, how she create as there are product portfolio with the right tools and right resources, how to make it so nice uh, and also very efficient, very fast, how she found like people to do interviews as well. Um, so uh, it's part of the, our, our alumni panel, put it on your calendar and get ready for lots of like uh, alumni resources. I'm very excited. The more people share, the faster we land offers and the more successful you are in your new job so that you are getting promoted as well. I'm very excited to see people contributing back to the communities. That's that's requirement for everybody who is part of PM Accelerator. Okay, great. Uh, I believe we answered all the questions. And I believe we answered all the questions. Awesome, awesome. So we had everything. So let's do the mock interview very quickly. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anybody, you can still put your questions in the chat, okay? Um, uh, if more time, we're going to answer your questions. So Chancery is still here. So let's do a quick mock interview. want to see how good you are. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to do Amazon interview or? Sure. Uh, either way. Uh, or Microsoft. Either way. Okay. L yeah. Let's do Amazon. Okay. If okay. your dream company is Amazon, let's do Amazon. Um, tell me a time that you have to tell your customers they are wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me a time. 
you have to tell the customer you are wrong. Let me analyze the situation. Okay, so Amazon different kind of leadership principles. Um, mm -hmm. So one of the principles is more re re related to you believe you're right and other people is not, not other people. It's like you, you believe in your original methodology and sometimes you need to push other people saying that it's wrong, it's not wrong. Like, and also sometimes customers. <laughs> this is this is not Amazon. This like and it's happening in real life as well. It's lots of time customer want something, they're not correct. The reality is like this this thing happened to all the PMs. Okay, so Amazon will ask you related uh, questions as well. So two minutes. Uh usually time I'm streaming for two minutes. So in two minutes, tell me the story. Tell me sure. a time when you tell your customers uh they're wrong. Sure. Yeah. Uh First, I would say the different people all have different ideas, which is right, which is wrong. I can start to think in my uh, past experience. So there's uh, several times and uh, the, the ideas I have is different than the one as customer. First, I have to, uh, uh, you know, communicate with the customer what they really mean, what they think uh, their, their idea is. So for example, I can take, uh, when we talk with one of the customer with one of the project for the energy storage, they, the customer want to say, oh, I want this kind of containerized battery because it looks nicer and the thing. And also uh, well, after I direct, uh, directly communicate with the customer and uh, uh, try to understand what's their theories behind that one, they think that's the right way. And it turned out they, uh, their thing is they just want a product which is really reliable and easy to deploy because they think that container is easy to deploy. Uh, you ship the container and load it to the site, which they think they can save time. But when I walk through the, the new product we launched, uh, launched and developed uh, with him, which is modularized battery, it's not a container. Uh, I, actually, uh, we can save like, when you're 50% of the on-site time uh, because this use easy tool to, in, uh, to install rather than the big crane to, to unload the con big container because it's too heavy. And also we limit all the uh, on-site work because for the containerized battery, they have to fill the, the chemicals on-site. It's a uh, kind of a hard process and a time consuming process. But for the modular one, we also limit this one. We just deploy and connect it easily. And once we communicate these uh, ideas and what the theory behind that new ideas and show the customer how we can uh, solve their concerns, which they mainly concerns that's uh, the, the, the on-site time. That's the, and also uh, we can pro uh, explain that the, the further uh, advantage for the new products, which you increase your uh, reliability, because this is another uh, point for the customer's concerns. Uh, I, I, uh, that's the one eventually, uh, at the end, after we go through all this process, all this series behind that new product and explain uh, with them all the benefit and the advantage for this new ideas, new products, the customer kind of agree that's the new approach because uh, all that's the uh, explanation that makes sense to them. And eventually they agree to use the new product instead of the, the, the old version they think is better. Okay, this is a fantastic story, but story wasn't told well enough. Okay, but yeah. put it this way, it's clearly, we haven't done too many interviews, mock interviews. The first mock interview you did with me, um, but clearly based on the context of the story, you are qualified for the scope of what a uh, scope of work that Amazon mm -hmm. is doing. Sounds like it's like I just read like the story. You tell them it's wrong, yada yada, and how the story itself has no problem. It's more when people in Amazon hear it. Uh, I'm being transparent with you. And they were like, some part they didn't get it. And some part just felt like, tell me exactly uh, like what, how you convince them. For example, you spend lots of time talking about the, the on-site is what, it, technically, yeah. technically speaking, this is on-site. This is like, this better, like technically speaking, we're all PhDs. Like when we say correct, it has to be correct. <laughs> yes. We're very technical, right? It's like nobody can judge PhD what's right or wrong. Just like, right. Um, but 
how we communicate with them is a different story. Right. They may they may get offended, yada yada, right? So communication mm-hmm. part needs to be up, uh, be brought up earlier. Um, and also the let me tell you the confusing part. Okay, not mm-hmm. everybody, even if I get PhD, I'm I'm still not like exactly knowing. They say battery be better in containers, just modulize, yeah, give them background information. Mm-hmm. For example, we know normal battery. What is the containers yeah. for battery? Because when we talk about containers, people in uh, Amazon, they start as Amazon Web Services, there's containers. When you talk yeah. about that, I think about that containers the whole time. They don't say, oh, it's battery containers. Like, you mean a box? They put in mm-hmm. a container, right? Or modulized. What is modulized? Because for software, we also have modulized services as well. Later on, I move, later on in my career, I moved to cloud. So like everything you talk about, oh, cloud also have modulized. Oh, cloud also have container. What, what F is she talking about the same thing? But it's not. So it's very confusing for people inside a tech. Okay. So you can mm-hmm. give people like summary. For example, what is a container? It's like battery putting the container means what? One sentence. What, what is that? Tell right. me now. So it's uh, the con- you build the use of the container as the, 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 the envelope and put all the battery inside the container. Oh, what is modulized battery? Modulized what is- one is, for example, one container is, for example, 100 kilowatt. Modulized one is kind of smaller size, with kind of refrigerator sized, with, for example, 10 kilowatt. You put it all, modis- multiple this one in series, connect them. To uh, usually, how large is the container? Is the size? Is that the size of room? What was it? It's a 20 foot long time, uh, 8 foot wide. Oh, very big. Okay, basic is big. Shipping okay, container. shipping container. Okay, okay, great. So, um, summarize up round. Mm-hmm. You can say the following. Um, when I was, what's your title? VP of product at the time? Yeah. So, when I was a VP of product of ABCD, the da, 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 company, mm-hmm. and of, of ABCD battery company, mm-hmm. I had to tell my customers they were wrong regarding what kind of product is a, what kind of product feature, use feature, because in tech, we talk about features, okay? What kind of product feature is the best solution for them? Mm-hmm. Our customers, then you describe customers in one sentence, one sentence up front, in our grail framework, remember in the in module two, we talk about the grail framework, the new framework I invented. So it's very, make your answer like, was huge impact and a larger scope, right? So our G G partner uh, framework, Grail framework, is Both. like just summary. You had they you disagree with them about they think like uh, the features is going to meet mm-hmm. their needs, right? Now you need to describe our part of framework, telling you guys regarding the the how bad the conflict is. You can say your customer is one of the largest retail store, which is Walmart. I made it up. I don't know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the lar- large retail store in Walmart um, who literally needs uh, thousands of like battery to power thousands of Walmart stores in the country. Mm. However, if we just follow blankly regarding what they think the feature need to happen, its impact is going to reduce the customer satisfaction re- and also reduce the, like the, the efficiency of battery, reduce implementation time right. for a customer. Actually, it's hurting our customers. Mm-hmm. So it's really bad if we uh, do not correct, do not tell them they were wrong, and do not correct them upfront. So as a VP of product, I took the following uh, steps, Actually, yeah. right? Number one, so the three steps. Number one, you should is talk about hearing from their concern, which you did it already. So mm-hmm. you, you just, but you need summaries up front. Step number one, I want to hear from their perspective what, what the, why they like the new feature. And I realized a customer asked for like um, better looking containers. Uh, uh, but in reality, when, when I ask more why questions, I realized that they're not looking for better looking containers. They're looking for faster implementation time. They thought containers will be better for them to implement it. Um, so step number two, um, I started to do like technical research, technical analysis because of PhD, whatever technical analysis and, and, and then realized for fact that battery, whatever the container is actually to reduce implementation is, is going to increase implementation, mm-hmm. time, whatever, whatever the technical reasons. Okay. And was because 
the the batteries, if you put them into a container that's like a shipping container size, uh, it's going to like you need to tell them the you really need to drop in what is what container for them because the same same word for people in tech. Okay. Right? If we put the battery in a shipping container size, become containerized battery, it's going to be uh, la, 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 harder to move because it's too big. La, 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 la. Um, but if you move it to modular, is uh, it is it, is faster. So so mo so if you move to modular, it's smaller individual individual batteries. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be more like agile. La 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 la, la, la helping their needs mm -hmm. much better. Um, and on top of that, it doesn't look bad either, right? So it's clearly a better it's better feature, but they just asked it incorrectly because they didn't understand the technical knowledge that I had as a PhD, you know? Uh, you don't even say that as a PhD, but as a technical knowledge I had. Then number three, you say, so then I come here, how, you need to tell them how you convince your customers. What's their response, right? You can say, um, so I had like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the customers or I gave a presentation to my customers or I built a prototype demo or I did a simulation, whatever, whatever you did to tell them they were wrong because people do not want to be told they were wrong. Okay. Makes sense. Like you don't want your wife to tell you were wrong, right? Right. right? Nobody wants to be told you were wrong. Right? Right. right. So, right. So this emotions behind it, you were wrong. So that's really bad. Um, so how would you tell them? So in reality, what do you do? Just plug it in. Here's how I, how I communicate with them regarding the were wrong to, to cover the emotions. Um, instead of selling them, they were wrong upfront. I did one-on-one -on -one meetings to, and through the simulation to use data to prove that, you know, whatever you did, you need to plug that in, in real life. I made it up because I wasn't you, but I give you the framework yeah. you can plug in. Yeah, I can say I give the presentation to list all the pros and cons for the two scenarios, two solutions, and end up with the customer naturally understand that one, they choose the, the, the one we propose. Uh, great, so you can say that. Um, uh, number three, instead of telling them they were wrong, I, I want them to make decision for them on, on their own. Yeah. By giving them a presentation, showing pros and cons, towards the end of presentation, they choose the right features by themselves without me telling right. them they were wrong. Right, that's right, right, great. Okay, so that, that's a very smart way to describe what happened, also show that you're very strategic and also show that you're, you're, caring, you're, you're caring about their, their um, mission or their feelings. So what's the impact, right. one sentence? The, the impact the, the the customer agreed with our proposal and use the right. Right. No, 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 no. Inside PMA, we teach you the impact should be bigger. For example, uh, they agree with us and deploy in 1,000 different Walmart stores. Blah, blah. Okay, I see. Okay, so impact. yeah, well, whatever whatever that thing is in real life, like again, why sure. not you? So you plug in the, the what's the real impact. Okay, um, now what you're learning, one thing. In the, in the, in the grill framework, our L part of uh, grill is yeah. learning. Yeah. So what's the learning? Yeah, actually, I just started to start learning this one. I have not really implemented this framework while. I, I understand that's the content in there is there. I just need to while organize how to. Yeah, you need to reorg everything. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, but it's a. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Come to our Thursday office hours. So we have private yeah. office hour for people inside of PMA. Uh, yeah. Exactly. After you finish it up you you can review your final version but it's very good already you can also submit in the discord channel for quick review it's fast great thank you awesome no problem okay awesome awesome i think we answered all the questions da -da 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 -da. i believe we answered all the questions okay so i want everybody to do this whoever is receiving our free coaching please make sure to share this video. I believe you have seen so much, like your full pack of video and advice that you, you guys can um, implement as well. So share this video with any aspiring product managers or senior product manager who want to reach the goal higher um, by double their, uh, doubling their um, like salaries, also join the company that truly uh, uh, desire. So share this video and our free coaching with anybody out there and also give a thumb up and I'll uh, end. When you share, make sure you tag me because I want to see who actually shared and then you will be invited to get more free coaching from me as well. Awesome. Okay, so uh, and also quick um, reminder, we are having our 
uh, math class right here. What, in, what do you think? Ding, 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 right here. Quick reminder, anybody who's interested in our um, PMA, so go to the three master class. We teach you how to land and keep your dream PM job um, during a hiring freeze. Okay, go to this website, darknessy.com slash masterclass. In the description of those, all my video, you should be able to find this link as well. Okay, I'm going to see you live in my master class. Um, best of luck to everybody having your upcoming interview. And this being a PM is best job ever you can ever get in life. It's very fun. Okay. So I want all of you guys to be successful and become a product leader. All right. So this is Dr. Nancy D. And thank you for joining us. Please make sure to share this video and like and comment. I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.